really happy and appreciate it a lot that you spend your precious lifetime with me this morning again and in the name and sake of master jedi jedi master yoda uh, may the forest of the rules be with you today as well and i'm really happy that we can spend our time with that with, with each other and to talk about the market so wonderful good morning and youtube as well because oh where are my notes there are my notes first of all good morning anna my moderator in the back without her i couldn't make this great show thanks um, by the way she's really strictly to me and sometimes she really gives me hard times but i love her so much <laughs> so but without her it isn't possible to make that show so guys that's my note first of all the uh, the show is streamed on youtube as well so if you want to learn later in a calm atmosphere, then you can watch the show live on YouTube or in a recording here on the YouTube channel. And uh, there is a button on your right side. You can subscribe there the channel so you will never miss an episode. Uh, it would be a great thing if you give us a like or if you think uh, Marcus is an idiot, then you give him some down, whatever it is. It's your perception. I don't take it personally, by the way. I'm really happy if you give us a like, but if you think it's not good, then it's your perception and I'm completely fine with that because, you know, everybody has its own pan, its own perception that's completely fine. It's not, it's, um, I don't take it personally. So, and of course, if you want to, um, if you want to say something, then you can leave your comment below that video. Um, at the best, you send us an email so we can talk about everything. Feel free to ask whatever is in your mind in YouTube and in uh, the Zoom session as well. So, Let's go to the charts. I guess it was a, it's a really amazing week. And you know, since this week, I did it again. And I started with live trading in one market because I have to fulfill the law of probability, by the way, which means I, I, can, I only can handle one market because, you know, in day trading, you cannot miss a signal. Otherwise, your success is based on the coincidence. And that makes no sense because you want to make money every day or maybe more than uh, once a month. And therefore, I want to show you how you can handle day trading, of course. And I prepare the interesting question for you because we have an interesting topic uh, today. And now I share my screen with you. So, and let me see the chat and all our participants there okay wonderful so on so here is uh mihai one of a good morning jess who is that barry dovani one of a good morning family don one of a good morning and yes we have a look at gold of course so the topic, so the main topic today in the next minutes is uh, talking about Heiken Ashi. And this is a really interesting indicator. And you know, we prepared a poll of that for you because I want to know something about you. So, but first of all, uh, let's go. Uh, that's the rules, you know, we trade with trend trading outcome of the correction. We have a high probability that it works about 70%. And that's the rule always never miss the rules because you know, if you cannot work with guarantees, you have to work with probabilities. And if you have to work with probabilities, then it's based on mathematical calculation, which, which means you cannot miss the signals unless um, yeah, no, 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 unless um otherwise yeah it's your success is based on coincidence and that's not why we are here we want to make money of course so here you see if you have any questions or if you want to make a video for me so please use that opportunity and we make this great offer that you can make a like a thomas and alexander and uh, and marcus in the in the past weeks so take your phone Make a selfie, a video selfie. Uh, I'm Marcus, I'm from Bavaria, and I have a question for you. And then ask whatever is in your mind, and then send it to live trading at admiralmarkets.com. And then I will talk about it in one of the next shows. Okay, feel free. We are family. 
There is no, nothing to judge each other or to blame each other. That's trading. And we are here to learn. And we are family. And uh, we are trading is a rough stuff. And we have to cope the challenge together, guys. Okay? So, by the way, you can get in touch with me directly if you want by Instagram, Twitter, DayTrader70, uh, or maybe Facebook if you want. And my newest baby is my live trading room, twitch uh, twitch.tv slash DowHowTrader. There you have access to my live trading room, to my charts, to my screen, to my camera. And yeah, you can get in touch with me uh, after the show. So let's go and let's start with our running trades. Now let's first of all, let's check the numbers. So today, upcoming events, labor force uh, that's over again in Australia, then U.S. weekly export sales and gas storage report. So you see for us a state of swing traders, not really, not really interesting. Um, maybe this afternoon, because we are day trader right now in Dow Jones. So, which means we have to care about that number, weekly export sales at one uh, at 2.30 afternoon German time, of course. So, let's check uh, what's happened then afternoon there. Okay, so we will start with the running trades, actually. So, and I know the Swiss franc is really rough at the moment. So... Uh, it's, a, it's a kind of, yeah, oh, I hate you, yeah, but that's, that's the point. It's the swing trading and we, have, we need time to reach our targets and to handle uh, our trades. But, you know, we do it together and uh, you can follow all my trades on, on Twitter if you want, or in the live trading room, by the way, if you want. And uh, so what, we, what did we do there? Yeah, we followed the rules. We open the position to speculate on a trend continuation. Actually, it happens, but now the price come back a little bit. But we have the soft stop in the profit, which means if we will have a close above the purple line, which is placed actually at 0.7022, uh, and if I will have a clear close, then I trail my hard stop and I cut a possible loss. Is that a personal punishment? No, of course not. You know, the market doesn't know you. There is no names in the order book. There is no reasons in the order book. There's just only numbers. So where is the problem? Cut the loss. The trading idea doesn't work in that moment, which means, okay, I got my ticket, but I'm sitting in the wrong bus. Okay, get out of the next station and wait for the next bus. That's fine. Take this picture in your mind. That's not a personal punishment. You know, you know we work with 70% with guarantee. And by the way, guys, this is one of the 70%, you know. Okay, let's, again, let me tell you this. Look, probability means something happens. So, and this 70% hit quote means if you have the signals, then the probability means that the price will go up the last point two. Doesn't matter, it's a small trend or a big trend, doesn't matter. Yeah. And closes above, or if you go short below, the last point two. That's all. The probability doesn't tell you more. Just only that. There is that thing, the probability has nothing to do about the result of the, of the trade. Because if you want to predict the result, you need to have an hourly glass or a crystal ball. So we don't have a crystal ball. We only have probabilities. So, and if you check it here, that was one of the 70%. Because we saw the correction and finally the trend were continuing to the lower side. So that was one of the 70%. And now we have to manage the trade because we cannot know what happens with the chart on the right side next. So we have the next probability that in over 90% of all cases, the price will go back to the point of control. 
You know, we work with prices. You don't need any indicators, just only two. That's the price indicator that you know where I am is my price, which I can see on the right side. Is this expensive? Is this cheap? Is this fair valued about the market? And on the lower side, I have a volume indicator that I can see, okay, I have high volume maybe in my balance candle. Yeah, that's all what I need. You don't need any indicators like uh, as, um, simple uh, moving average or something else because all indicators all indicators all indicators are based on what? What do you think? Okay, I have kind of So here we go, price exactly, yeah. So I have a kind of technical problem actually. So, okay. Yeah, okay, great. Thank you. So kind of uh, technical problems this morning. I guess I have to <laughs> restart my, my computer right now. Uh, good, guys. So, okay, you are right. Every indicator is based on the price, by the way. Okay, so let's go on that you know. So you don't need any indicators. Just check the price, the volume, and the trend, and that's all. So now in this trade, Australian Swiss franc, you can see, uh, by the way, um, price is going up right now after the trend continuation. Actually, we didn't have, or actually we don't have a trend continuation there. So which means we are still in the correction. And once if I will have a close above the purple line, then I trail my stop lower to cut a loss or to close that trade in the profit zone. Next one is Euro Swiss franc. Here the same, we have a really weak Swiss franc actually uh, against all other currencies, which means, okay, actually it seems I will have a close above my purple line because you see it's really weak actually. And if I will have a close, then I trail my hard stop lower and to cut the loss because I cannot lose money. You know why? We sold already half the position because everything is fine. We cannot lose money. We, we wait for a secondary trend and then we can go lower again and again. Okay. So so what's about my camera this morning? It's really, really interesting. Okay, so whatever. Then Euro New Zealand dollar, we started this trade and we wanna go back to the point of control here. Yeah, I now have kind of technical issues this morning. I have to restart my computer after the show. Okay, so we started here our trade and uh, yeah, now we see, do we have a close above the last point two? No, not yet. You see, there was not really a close above the last point two. So there is no problem. Now you see the importance of the last point two, but there is nothing to do. Uh, I trailed my soft stop into the profit. And if I will have a close, then I trail my hard stop to cut a possible loss because then I have a chance to open the trade again. But if the price will go lower and lower, I'm out. Yeah, cut the possible loss, okay? So next one, British pound, US dollar. We sold half of the position already. Everything is fine. Here we trade the soft stop into the profit. And now we see a kind of stabilization here. And uh, yeah, let's wait. Maybe we will see a trend continuation. Here we go. 
that's the correction right now and we have nothing to do trade it's a free ride yeah let it go except accept the result what the market will give you accept the decision of the market but never intervene into your trade yeah accept cut the loss but let the winners also run please okay that's really really important okay next one is new zealand uh, swiss franc yeah here we go look we don't have actually a trend continuation so we have to wait so we are a little bit in profit but uh, yeah i give this a little bit more space so i didn't trail uh, and i haven't trail actually my soft stop so let it run it's a small loss as you can see here yeah so then a daily chart trend it's uh it's uh, nasdaq because we had our rules there we came out of the correction we had a balanced candle yeah i got in a little bit late because it's no problem because i'm speculating on the trend continuation yeah the best uh, entry would have been there a lower below the balance candle so but there's no problem so my purple line means that's my soft stop yeah and if i have a close then i trail my hard stop so let let it go so what's on my watch list for today it's uh, australian dollar uh, new zealand dollar before i explain that to you i have the question of the day and I hope, uh, Anna, we can start the poll because the question means, do you use Heikin Ashi for your trading by yourself? Do you use Heikin Ashi for your trading? So answer number one, yeah, I do. Or answer number two, oh, what is Heikin Ashi? Uh, and of course, answer number three, no, I don't. So just up to you. It's just an information from you. Of course, my topic today is a kind of explanation about Heikin Ashi. So do you use Heikin Ashi for your trading? Yeah, no, or what is Heikin Ashi? And uh, we ask the same in YouTube. So what do I have in Australian New Zealand dollar? First of all, you can see in my picture in that screen, we have the big picture is facing upwards. Yeah, and we reached the point of control already. So and now it seems that the price will go up again. And here on the right side of my chart, you see there is a secondary trend. So and now I have to show you a different thing because in another thing you can see in my private uh, software, the point of control is higher at 10770, which means the next correction, which will end exactly at the point of control with a balance candle there, will give me the signal to go up. It's a kind of different to the meta trader cause we have a, a different um, um, data feed. So the point of control is a little bit higher. So, but that's no problem. You see there's a high volume zone and I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm really fine with that. So if you can see the next correction, then we have two trends and two trend sizes which are running in the same direction. And this could be a great opportunity to reach the last high at around about 109.40. Yeah, so keep it on your watch list, please. So the question of the day is, do you use Heikin Ashi for your trading? So push the button, please. Yes, I do. Or what is Heikin Ashi? And no, I do US dollar. So yeah, I know I have really, really big problems this morning. So now here we go. The trend is still valid. The leading trend and the main trend, as you can see here, is still valid. And I, as you see, I didn't open the trade because I could predict it that we have a big resist zone actually in this blue rectangle here. So, and that means guys, that means that uh, we need a close above the point of control. 
and then a kind of sign that the price will go up because the trade or the trend is finally facing upwards. But we need time for that, that we can see a kind of stabilization and we see that we have more uh, buyers in the market. And so this is just on my watch list, Australian dollar, US dollar. So the next one is our Euro Australian dollar. And as I explained the last weeks, wait if we will see the trend continuation, then a correction, and then we can go up. Yeah, actually we see the correction and maybe we will see the stabilization We can go up, okay. Okay, <laughs> that's funny, that's funny, that, that's life. Okay, that's life. So it is how it is. So, but you can still hear me, right? Forget the camera this morning, but you can still hear me, yeah? Okay, so let's go on. Let's wait for Euro Australian dollar. So next one is Euro Canadian dollar. Uh, first of all, where we are. Um, we are deep in the green zone, really, really deep in the green zone. So wait for the correction and then we can go up. So here we can work a little bit technical unclean. Yeah, maybe if we don't have a close below the 38%, then when we have a clear and we have a clear balance candle, then we can open the trade because we are deep in the green zone. There it's allowed to work a, a little bit unclean, technically unclean. Okay, that's the voice, uh, that's the term. British pound Swiss franc. We see a stabilization there, but we need a close below the blue rectangle. Not you see in Bitcoin also, we have, um, so just a moment. I'm kind of confused today this morning. So in Bitcoin also, you can see uh, really, really a job off yesterday. And uh, yeah, as I used to say, we will go back to the point of control. Yeah. Okay. So. completely confused tone and video is off. So I'm really sorry for the technical issues uh, this morning. Uh, you can watch the show later on, on YouTube. Um, so actually, interesting, okay. So let's go to the day trading. And uh, we have the Dow Jones here. And yesterday I opened the trade there, as you can see here. Uh, the perfect entry would have been a little bit lower, but um, yeah, here was, uh, it was very late. I wasn't at the PC and I opened the trade at the point, uh, at the point two, and that's fine. Now we see a correction and actually we are circling around the point of low. And this is an entry as well. And you know, Finally, we are speculating that we reach the point of control and then we can make money. Yeah, so that's the point. And my soft stop is placed above, uh, below the last point three with this question mark, because it's not a confirmed point three right now. So, and if you will have a close below the purple line, then I will uh, then we'll close the trade and cut a possible loss, because then I'm still in a, then I'm still in the a correction zone and the trend is still valid and then we can go up 
again. So wait for it and you can follow uh, the Dow Jones as well. So let's see what we can do here right now and uh, wait for that. And you can go uh, to my live trading room and then you will see how I handle that. So maybe if you ask yourself, can I make this trade again? Yeah, cause the rules are still there. That's the one to the third correction, it's fine. We are in a green zone or the edge between red and green zone. So it, uh, it means that we can still go up and maybe if you want, and if you're not still in, you can set a pending order round about here at 30,000, what it is, 30,000, uh, 33,899. So, cause if we will see a trend continuation, yeah, then we go up. Yeah, Alexander, I'm forced to do that, to trade in day trading, just only Dow Jones that I can, can fulfill the law of probability. But I wanna show all my followers that it is possible to make money almost every day with following the rules in, in day trading as well, but just only one market, by the way, yeah? Okay, so, the topic of today I want to share with you is about uh, the what are Haken Ashi candles. So just a quick uh, description of Haken Ashi. The name Haken Ashi or Haken Ashi uh, is just debatable because the name didn't exist in Latinum letters but in Japanese characters. And there is the real meaning Heiken Ashi. So the Japanese guys, they are talking Heiken Ashi and no, and not Heikin Ashi. So we tell, we uh, use it Heiken Ashi, okay? So, and the real meaning is kind of Heiken Ashi is average bar and it's kind of more an indicator. So the indicator is part of the candlestick method to show the chart with your uh, candles, yeah? So the Heiken Ashi technique averages price data to create a Japanese candlestick to filter out the market noise, yeah? And we are developed by Munehisha Homo in the, in the years uh, 1700, round about, 7th century. So, and they share some characteristics with standard candlesticks charts, but differ based on the values to create each candle. So what's the information about Heiken Ashi? It's a technique to identify the trade more properly or more easily. So a hollow white or maybe green candle with no lower shadows are used to signal a strong uptrend. And a filled black or maybe red candle shows the different uh, direction for a strong downtrend. And then you have a balanced candle, which is kind of similar to the traditional doji pattern. And they have small bodies, as small as possible, and long upper and lower shadows. So, and the upper and lower shadow must have the same length and at least twice the length of the body. And as you know, our rules, rule number four, we are waiting for that balance candle within our correction zone. Because as the name tell you, as the name tells you, it's a balance between suppliers and uh, supply and demand or buyers and sellers. And they turn the volume in the balance candle. And if you, if you compare a balance candle with um, kind of a normal candles, then you will, for example, a balance candle in a long trend means you have a balance candle in the correction zone, which means you have a red candle and a green candle and both of them, as a result, you have a balance candle in Heikin Ashi. Okay, so how do they look like? Let's have a check on it and make it a little bit bigger here right now. So here it's really easy. Look at this one. So that's, for example, that's 
uh, trend continuation candles. That's a really strong uptrend. Or in a short direction, this is a trend continuation to the lower side, which means the, uh, the trend beyond that candles are really strong, uh, either in the upper side or in the longest or the short side. And then you have a balanced candle. And a balanced candle is kind of this one. A balanced candle is kind of uh, this one. And a real proper balanced candle means is this one. And now maybe you recognize where the balanced candle occurs. As the name tells you, at the end of any kind of movements, yeah? Uh, either at the end of a movement at the top or in the correction. So, and that means, by the way, if you have a correction in a stable trend and you have a balance candle there, then you can realize or you will recognize that the buyers and supply, the buyers and sellers keep in balance there and turn the price there. And this is so easy to handle. And it's more easy than in normal candles. Because in normal candles, you have a lot of patterns, bullish engulfing, bearish engulfing, uh, whatever it is, three dead soldiers and three dead crowds and whatever there is. In my opinion, you should make trading as easy as possible. And therefore, I use for my trading, you can use, guys, whatever you want. It's your decision. I only share my over 22 years right now experience with you. And I think um, trading should be as easy as possible. And what is more easy to have two candles, trend continuation candle or balance candle. And that's all. So, and as you can see here right now in the chart of Dow Jones, yeah, you see a kind of balance candle here right now. At the end of this current correction, that could mean that the correction comes to an end and maybe we will see a trend continuation, yeah? So this is a short explanation about uh, Heikin Ashi. So here we go, I have some question. Thank you for everyone. Oh, thank you. Uh, how much money do I need to have in my account to be able to trade on Dow Jones 30? No, it's, it's up to you. It's on you, Alexandru, because uh, yeah, how much risk you, are, how much money you want to invest. But um, I guess it should be two or three thousand dollars at least, I would say. But you can calculate it in MetaTrader, of course. Do you have any to set any parameters by using Heikinashi candles? Or is or it's all fixed? There is no settings for Heikinashi, just only the color. There is no settings. You can um, copy and paste in the, in the chart. So by the way, there was a question at least uh, about gold, of course. And let's talk about uh, gold. Where is it? Here we have gold. So, and gold is finally going up again. And thanks God I'm long in gold. So, and what is happening here, we yesterday about the drop off in Bitcoin, we have a high volatility in, um, let's say in gold as well as yesterday. And now we see increasing prices in gold, but to be honest, still nothing to do. The trend is still old. We are in the move. The last correction, yeah, let's measure it. The last correction, yeah, didn't reach 38%. And this within the red zone. Don't do such things. Yeah, stay out. If you are long in gold, trail the stop. Don't trade short because it's not no signal there. And I wouldn't open a trade in long position because it's too late. Don't have an opinion about that. The market is not interesting about your opinion. The market doesn't know you, okay? Just follow the rules and use it in every kind of underlying you can see in the market.
Yeah. So let it go. And this is just my opinion about uh, gold. So guys, uh, let's stop. I hope my camera again. So I have to restart my, my computer right now. Thanks, guys, uh, for being with me today. Let's finish the show. Let's see each other tomorrow or in the live trading room. Here we go again. <laughs> see you, guys. I hope you will have a great day. I'm really, th really sorry for the technical issues today. I will fix it right now so we'll have a proper show tomorrow again. Thanks for being here with me. Have a wonderful day. And maybe we'll see each other in the uh, live trading room. And uh, have courage and be kind. And as always, may the force of 